Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the flyweight bout between David Dvorak versus Man Mano Cop. Mano Cop, David Dvorak, flyweight division. How I see this one right here is I'm going high confidence Mano Cop to beat David Dvorak. Um, David Dvorak is a very solid fighter, very technical, just like whatever. He was like a, a chess mastermind, etc., etc. And then he transitioned to MMA. And this show, dude fights very technical, very smart. But, um, I think Mano Cop can match him in technique, surpass him in athleticism, surpass him in power, and I think those will be the edges that will push him over. So if he can match the technique or surpass technique, even like talent-wise, all that stuff over him, and should be a connection cracking with the bigger shots. I feel like it'll be kind of like a slow pace fight to start, maybe favoring David Dvorak, but I feel like um, Mano Cop, knowing how his career in the UFC kind of started out slow and kind of losing these fights just because he didn't really get a start on this one. And also, I don't think he had to worry so much about power coming back at him. David Dvorak doesn't really deal with much, like, you know, deal with much, like, killing the tent or doesn't deal with much, um, like I said, power. So that should allow um, Mano Cop to be, you know, be more free with his hands and more free with his combinations as well. That's nothing. He does more longer extended combinations and also in those combinations, Mano Cop will draw it has heavy hands behind them. So it's not like he's doing a combination just like, I'm going to touch you with like tw like 10 strikes. Like these 10 strikes, you're going to feel every one of these 10 strikes. And I think just about every one of these 10 strikes can put you out. So I think that's where he's going to be able to catch him. I feel like slow start, but this once um, Man of Cop started to get a read on him and start to let his hands go and start to draw a combination, I think he'll start to get connected. Like those, like, you know, the later punches in the, or latest shots in the combination going to be able to connect more clean. The earliest one going to get him in position the later one's going to be able to do the damage. But slower start in the first, first round, but um, filling out on both sides. But then towards later half of that first round, I think Manicop going to find his his range and timing and start to you know, really start to land clean shots and take away that first round. But it's still probably me up for grabs first round. But then I think second round, Manicop puts some weight late. I think he's still competitive in the second round, but I think Manicop starts to touch him with power, you know, at different points in, the, in that round. And then we see like it's going, all those going to sit on him, wear him even in the like later half of that first round. Then like, Second round, late second round, be the catch one in them combination, drop him, and finish him off second round. So in this one, I have Mano Cop via second round TKO.